So what we're gonna need today is more nukes, but also just to kill everything possible. Like the peanut man! Oh, did I stab three in a row? Did that count? I don't know if that counted. Well, we'll get all sorts of fun new upgrades anyway, along with the nukes. And like the game tells me, you can have more than one anyway. So let's jetpack him this way, and so far so good. This definitely is not actually bad for the first run. We're over 5,000 feet. For a total of 6,500 feet, which should be worth a few dollars. $8,000 to be exact. But we have enough shells that we can roll and get a new character. So Roberta's going away for a while and we're going to use whatever is in here. A zombie, Henry the Worm. So this should be interesting. He gets to be tethered to the arrow just like everyone else. Hopefully we'll spear some good things. Oh, there's a bird. We got the bird. Will we get another bird? That's the million dollar question. Nope, something took our arrow away. But that's fine. Thousand meters so far, plus a meteor. We can activate that, and then we'll hit that. Eh, this might be decent. But this is another decent run already. 4,500 meters plus a helicopter launch. Hmm, I don't know if I like launching a zombie. I feel like he's already dead, so none of this really matters to him. We should put the turtle back. The turtle is really the star of the show. But we're also getting very lucky. Uh, apparently we just reached 10,000 meters and got an achievement, though we clearly did that last time because our record, as it shows, is 13,000 meters. We're still 700 meters into the sky. Actually, we just broke our record already. Hmm, maybe he's good luck. Maybe we won't use the turtle. Oh, we got the alien. We'll let him go and launch. This will be worth lots of money. And we finally roll to a stop right here. That was worth $23,000. Or about one third of a nuke if you're me. So next on our to buy list is a savage submachine gun. Not entirely sure what it's going to do for us, but we're about, that's a lot of bullets. That could be fun. That should keep him airborne nicely. So we'll hit him with the bomb to start. Uh, I'm not sure if that worked very well. It's a little bit hard to see. And I would love to start spearing some animals. We got one seagull on board. I do like this with how many bullets we get because I feel like I can perpetually keep myself airborne or about where I want to be. And we hit a meteor. We're not particularly high up yet either. We're only like 100 meters at best. Maybe with the submachine gun I'm supposed to like rapid fire and hold it down to boost him into the air. What is that thing? Oh, it's a banana. I had never seen a banana before so that caught me off guard. So I'm pretty excited to see what the next gun is because they're starting to get better and better. Grabbed by an eagle. Freedom. I really just want more nukes. That's all I want. But I'm going to try and time this a little better so I shoot just before I hit the ground. It's very hard to time because the ground comes up faster and faster. And then I run out of bullets anyway. But you know what? I'm going back to my lucky turtle. We're going to use him to uh, stab fellow animals and take them with us on our little journey. I don't yet know where we're going. I think I almost touched the ground there, but then didn't. So that launched me way up here into the sky. So we'll just keep going. We'll even use our jetpack. Here you go. Do that. Oh, we shouldn't hit those. Those are insta-kills. Maybe the turtle is not so lucky after all. I do want a new launcher too. As fun as it is trying to spear things, I don't often manage to, so this is kind of just a waste. Just like old times, he landed on the spikes. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! So now we can buy, well, potentially also a new gun. I want a new launcher though, I don't want the arrow launcher. The Dark Knight. Cool thing about this one, if you buy it, it can come back to save you by appearing on the battlefield. That does sound nice. Uh, okay, so we get to pick the angle again. That's a much better launch. I really like that so much more than the arrow launcher. And the results so far kind of speak for themselves, if I don't let myself hit the ground, that is. Got an alien. Still not entirely sure how to use those, but I think like that. You gotta hold it for not too long. I don't know what it meant about it can save you on the battlefield, though. I would love it to come back right now and relaunch me. I've only gone 3,000 meters, so I need the help. Let's go a little bit steeper with this one. It's also hard to see because I'm doing this with my other hand today, so that doesn't help. But we got freedomed, so we'll go a little bit further. We'll use the bomb. This could be a better one. And so far, it definitely is because we're getting some serious height. And we just went through a whole flock of birds that really gave us some lift. I can hear a danger plane though, so I gotta stay away from that. Another bunch of seagulls and then a meteor. We're gonna be carrying some pretty good speed. Whoops, didn't mean to hit the ground. It comes up so quickly sometimes. So we'll just jetpack to the bitter end and we're gonna wind up where we wind up now. Still $9,000 for that. I'll take that all day. We've bounced this poor turtle along all the way. Oh wait, we might hit... Oh, it was just a plane anyway. But we're at almost 9,000 meters, so that's going to be some big money. $12,000, that's big money to me these days. Now, I want to buy the rusty jetpack, just because I feel like that really could be some use to us. And then I can also buy a bigger bomb soon for $52,000. It's just a matter of launching this turtle into the air enough times to make it worthwhile. 
I don't really know when to try this yet, but should we try it now to see what happens? Yeah, that's making a difference. We're actually staying up in the air this time. Yeah, that's better. Uh, I think it was wearing out anyway, but that still made a considerable difference to us. Oh, that was probably a good hit. Yeah, we're 300 meters into the sky. I don't even know what happened. Yeah, this is one of those ones where we're just constantly touching things. Look how quick we're going right now. We're at 4,000 meters. I just gotta be very careful not to hit the ground. We're 400 and something meters up. Gonna touch it there. I'm so nervous about getting close to the ground because I'm gonna go from 200 meters to zero in an absolute instant. 500 meters into the sky. We haven't hit anything in so long. We're just relying on bullet uh, trajectory uh, velocity. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm trying not to hit the ground. This turtle would be gooified if it hit the ground at this speed in real life. We reached 20,000 meters. But almost 21,000 meters as we roll to a gentle stop. Worth $28,000. So let's just try and do that every time. So we just hit one of those cannon things that can slow you down. Oh, oh what's that thing? Is this good or bad? I, I, don't, I don't know what just happened. Where am I? Oh, I'm a thousand meters up. I wonder if it warped me. Uh, that's interesting. I was very lost for a second there. I don't know if I've ever been that high up before. Uh, I gotta definitely shoot when I'm nice and low. That way I bounce as high or higher. There is 1150 meters up. We're pretty much in space at this point. Oh, we are in space actually. We're just floating along horizontally now. Oh, we're coming down quick. That was very strange. We're 25,000 meters distant. Wow, this is fun. 13, 14, 1500 meters above the ground and going so stupidly far. So we'll do this routinely once we start to get nukes, but for now, I'm going to enjoy this. There's 1500 and something meters up and we're at 42,000 meters distance. Now we got to come down and hit the ground. Even bouncing off the ground, we got 650 meters. That's ridiculous. And we're picking up tons of money along the way. It's only 50 or $100 at a time, but oh, just before 50000 Stupid turtle always letting me down. But we got 60 something thousand dollars if I'm seeing that correctly. So that should mean we could buy several things if we want to. We could buy a better jetpack. I kind of want to buy the bigger mine. There is also a superhero cape that'll make me fall slower. For now, let's just go with the bigger bomb. We'll maybe buy that next time because I still have about $50,000 left over. So let's go way vertical if we can. Because then as we're coming down, we use the bigger bomb to go way higher again. This is going to work out better. We're going to get uh, consistently better runs now. So we'll come down from that. We'll pop ourselves up. I'm going to jetpack right here to try and give ourselves a little more upness. And then I didn't read what my achievement was there. We want to stay away from that plane. That plane would have taken us out right away. This one's going to help us though. The problem with hitting 50,000 meters distance is now I feel like I'll never do that again. Like I feel so impossibly far away from that right now. I would like to make a correction. The nukes are actually $80,000. I thought they were 60, but that's a little disappointing because now I have to work a little bit harder to get a nuke. And when I say work, I mean jettison a turtle into the air repeatedly for my amusement. Uh, I just hit like an airplane. I've never even seen an airplane, but it stopped me dead because I was moving upwards at the time. And I'm not talking about the spiky doom plane. I'm talking about a regular like airline plane, which is something I bet a turtle has never really hit in real life. So so far, this isn't a bad run at all. We're a thousand feet into the sky suddenly, moving very quickly horizontally. But I'm also out of bullets, so it's in fate's hands now. 29,000 meters. Worth $40,000. That's expensive. So the next launcher is a shish kebab for $102,000. I don't really want an arrow launcher again, like at all. But what I might buy for now is the Lone Eagle. I feel like this is going to have the power to uh, really help get us where we're going. It's got less bullets for sure, but I'm sure each one of those is going to count for a lot more than the machine gun. So far, that very much seems to be the case. So we'll wait till we drop down a little bit. Oh, wow, we can hit some pretty good speed here anyways. So coming down, we'll shoot again. There's a plane again, so we got to shoot ourselves to bring ourselves back upwards. But just like that, 900 meters into the sky. This gun is great. Oh, I should use a jetpack when we come back into space to go even higher. Let's try it. Wait till we're all the way up and jetpack. Is that going to work? Is this a bad idea? It seemed like a pretty good idea to me. 15, ooh, 2,000 meters into the sky. That's a new record upwards. Final for this one, about 25,000 meters. So it should be worth a lot of money considering everything we just hit. 34,000, 35,000 dollars. But just using this gun is enough to get us very high now anyway. Like we're at 600 meters and I haven't touched anything yet. Okay, we just broke a thousand meters. I still haven't hit a single bird or anything and I'm not even doing that great of shooting. But each time we get 
10, 20% higher. Like, we get into space without doing anything. Let's put our jetpack on. Oh, we should have timed that better. That's fine. Jetpack power away. We got an achievement for a masochist. Hit 20 spikes. Good news for the turtle. Okay, we have three bullets left. We hit 600 meters on that one. Oh, that kind of sucks. We hit a plane, so we're going to have to settle for 900 meters. One more shot should bring us into space, and then we're going to nuclear bomb this thing. So we we'll use that there, and we are officially in the edge of space, and we're going to nuke ourselves. The edge just never gets old. Didn't take us as high, but we're getting very far horizontally. I think it mostly launches us forward at light speed. Not sure it's worth using in space. I think that's maybe more something you should use on the ground. Whatever the case, that propelled us very far forward at light speed. So on our 80 whatever thousand dollar nuke investment, we made $32,000 back and I regret absolutely nothing. We can do much better still. Wish I had a better launch there, but that's fine. We'll just keep on going. So on this run, I am back into space. I'm moving horizontally very quickly and I'm hitting seagulls in space for some reason. Not going to complain about that, but I'm back to touching the ground again. But this one might be pretty good if we get a little bit of luck now. 35,000 distance though, that was worth $50,000 by itself, so we probably need to go shopping. I'm really worried this is going to work against me, but we're going to try it. If it really screws us up, I'll just buy more nukes. Pretty good start there, so... Whoops, didn't mean to do that there, but that's fine. So I don't know when to use this thing. Maybe we'll try it later? No? I think I just obliterated a seagull again, so that's always fun. Should make it into space here, and then maybe we'll use this once we start falling out of space just to see what it does. Oh, interesting. It just makes us go, like, horizontal more. Hmm, that's kind of interesting in itself. But that's good to do when we're in space, because then we have lots of time to fall down. 15,000 meters on that, but now that I know what the cape does, we could definitely use that to our advantage. This turtle is such a good sport, though. He puts up with so much abuse. Saved up $105,000. I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to bite the bullet on this and probably buy the arrow launcher. You know what? Before doing that, let's buy the rocket pack. I want upgrades that I'll actually enjoy for now. Though we'll make so much money, we'll skip right over the ones we don't enjoy. We are now officially out of bullets, but we've already got 19,000 meters, and we're still quite a ways up into the sky. Okay, we're now currently getting beat up by someone who's flying through the sky. First time I'd ever seen them when we ran into them. They launched us horizontally a long way, so we're going to put our cape on to kind of continue this momentum. Yeah, this new jetpack of ours can actually lift us into the sky. So it doesn't just kind of point us in a direction, it can actually lift us up, which is hugely helpful. Kind of wish I had a speedometer though, because a lot of times like this I feel like I'm moving extraordinarily fast, but I don't know if this is faster or slower than we've moved before. I'm going to use the cape right here too to stop us from losing that altitude quite so quickly, because we are moving very fast. Oh, I found the xenomorph thing again. Didn't launch me as high this time. Maybe it just caught me really high last time. I don't know what to make of that. I got excited and screwed everything up because of that. I just hit several things, uh, and even more things that I didn't see, so we're moving at light speed right now. I think we hit the ground there, though, and lost a bit of speed, but we were going absolutely phenomenally fast. Well, I saved up $160,000. It doesn't seem like we can skip over the stupid arrow launcher, so we're going to buy that. The next one's 140,000. That's not bad. And maybe this air launcher will be better than the first one anyways. It already looks better. Okay, so we're going to um, give it a launch maybe right here. Um, yeah, it's maybe better. Better than the first one at least. Okay, so let's try this again. Hopefully with a bit of a better launch. I think maybe a steeper angle. There's a better launch. Didn't spear anything yet, but we hopefully will soon. Got a bird. Two birds. Still not very confident we're going to get a third one because it's very hard to do. Wait, we got one. It actually worked. Then we got a pretty good bounce, so we might actually do pretty well on this one as long as we don't hit anything stupid. We're back into space already and I've still got one bullet left. So i got to wait till we hit about 100 meters, which is hard to do. And then we're going to try and boost ourselves a little bit higher in space. 1300 meters up. And then we hit that. That's going to pick up our speed a little bit, which is great. Once that wears out, we're going to throw the cape on. That way we don't lose altitude. Then we come to a gentle stop at about 32,000 meters. So now we can afford Zeus 2000. Need a little spark to brighten up your day? Sure do. This looks like a nice big gun to launch things out of. Got a big slow wind up. I'm going to have to get used to that. It's a big launch though. I'm definitely going to set some records with this. And that wasn't even a perfect launch gonna have to work on that timing a little bit but that's gonna take us very far. Yeah we made it all the way into space I'm now jetpacking at 1950 meters and we still have a bullet left. So this is gonna be a really good one. 
And we just bounced off something still in space, so we're over 2,000 meters and still up here, collecting crazy amounts of money. Gonna have to time this. I kind of panicked there, but that'll still take us up nice and high. 24, 2,500 meters, so we're gonna pull the cape on here. Plus, we hit a meteor, so we're going like a 1,000 meters every second. We're going very quick. Doesn't look like it in space, but we're absolutely moving. Oh, what's that thing? Give me a ride. Oh, you're a spiky thing. Oh, that would have been so good had we not touched that. So let's try this again, hopefully with a better launch. Got a perfect one. Don't know about the angle, but we got a good power on it. Unfortunately, I hit a plane, so I had to use a bullet to get me back up here. But I'm at 1500 meters, plus I have a bullet left. So this will still be a very good one, despite the plane collision. So once we get up as high as we can, right about here, jetpack time. Now we just gotta be careful not to hit one of those spiky idiots again. Plus, once this runs out at about 2,000 meters, we're gonna glide for a bit. Oh, those are here too, great. Okay, as long as you don't hit anything spiky, this could be a very good one again. Not actually sure what I'm hitting because I'm moving so fast, but a few things kept me going, so I still have three bullets. And we're headed for space very quickly. Just use my final bullet, that's gonna take me up to just about 2,000 meters, probably over with the jetpack. Then we can use the cape and then we can cruise and we're at 22,000 meters distance right now. Make that 23,000. 24,000 because we're going very fast. But I've also saved up $180,000. Which is enough for not one, but two nuclear bombs. So we're going to wait till we get a good run and then we're going to use those. This could be it, depending on the launch, which is so far so good. So far I am liking what I'm seeing. I just don't know when I should use a nuke, if I should use it now, when I'm in space, when I'm very low down. I don't know if it matters, it's probably just going to take me very high up. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait till we're at the end of our run, then use it to restart myself. Because even without the nukes, we're going to make it a long ways on this one. We're already 1200 meters up and I've got three bullets left. That's, uh, well that's okay, we're going to nuke pretty soon anyway. In fact, we're going to do it right now, let's nuke now. That takes us up, over, I don't know what's happening. Nukes are just fun. Yeah, we're going up and over still. And then we're going to hit that. We're also going to use the cape and that's going to hold this level right now. And we still got a nuke to use. That's the best part of all this. 270 meters, nuke time. That's going to take us up again a little bit. And look at that speed. 43,000, 44,000. And we hit another asteroid. So that's definitely going to take us through to a new record. Never, never mind. What, what just happened? We're going light speed and then I just got hit by something. We were 1,000 1, short of my record and we were going to break through that in literally a quarter of a second. I guess I earned $60,000 so that's, you know, almost enough to pay for one of those nukes I just used. 